Namaste and hello. This is your Sanskrit instructor welcoming you back into lesson number 247. In the earlier videos, we learned how to decline the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4, the numerals eka, dwe, tri, and chatur. And we saw that they agree in gender and case with the following noun. However, numbers 5 to 19, the numerals from Paschan, which is 5, to Navad, Navadashan, which is 19, are declined alike in the three genders. So in other words, you do not have to worry about masculine, feminine, and neuter like how you did for numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. They agree in case with the noun that they qualify, except for push number six and but sorry, so except for shush, which is number six, shush is six, and ashtan, ashtan, which is eight, ashtan. So, shash, six, and ashtan, eight. They are all declined like the rest of them, the rest of the numbers from five to 19, they are all declined like pashtan. So, let us go over the declension of question from nominative going all the way down to locative we have pascha pascha accusative pascha bhihi instrumental pascha bhyaha dative pascha bhyaha ablative pascha nam genitive and then pascha su locative so that is the declension for number five, and then all of the numbers from five to 19, ex the declension for five to 19, those pay attention to those case endings, except for, that applies for um, to all the numbers from five to 19, except number six and number eight. Now number six, the declension of number six, six in Sanskrit is shash, nominative is shart, accusative is shart, Instrumental is shard bhihi. Dative is sharda. Shard bhyaha, actually. Dative is shard bhyaha. Ablative is shard bhyaha. Genitive is sharnam. Locative is shat su. Then for the declension of ashtan, which is eight, for a nominative, we have ashta or ashto. For accusative, we have the same thing, ashta or ashto. Instrumental, ashta bhihi or ashta, ashta bhihi. For dative, we have ashtabhyaha or ashtabhyaha. For ablative, ashtabhyaha or ashtabhyaha. For genitive, we have ashtanam. And then for locative, we have ashtasu or ashtasu. So that is a declension of those types of numbers. Again, this is from five to 19 except for number six and then number eight. That's the declension for number six, bash, and the declension for number eight, ashtan. So one thing that I do want to go over with you are the other numbers. So 
we will only we will go over the entire table in the next video but the numbers are actually considered to be the cardinals so number one is eka number two is dwe number three is tri number four is chatur number five is pascham number six is shash number seven is saptan number eight is Ashtan. Number 9 is Navan. Number 10 is Dashan. Number 11 is Eka Dashan. Number 12 is Dwa Dashan. Number 13 is Triyo Trayo Dashan. Number 14 is Chatur Dashan. Number 15 is Panjadashan. Number 16 is Shordhashan. Shordhashan. No, that's number 16. Number 17 is Saptadashan. Number 18 is Ashtadashan. And number 19 is Navadashan. Again, number 16 is Shordadashan. I didn't feel like I pronounced that properly. So these are all the numerals from number 1 to 19. And the numbers, the actual numbers, they are called cardinals. Ordinals, what we'll be learning about in the next lesson, is or the difference between cardinals. So, for example, ek is number 1. But pratama is first. So ordinals would be such like first, second, third, fourth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth. So right now what we just went over the pronunciation from one to nineteen was the cardinals. So these are what you will have to decline using this table here, depending on what number it is. And we already spoke about that um, exception. We already spoke, the, spoke about the exception. So everything, all of the numbers from 5 to 19, you will decline it like how you declined number 5. But then you will decline number nine, um, number 6 and number 8. They have their own declension and they're right there for you. So with that, these are your numbers and this is your Sanskrit instructor signing off with a namaste.